and welcome to the constituency on City TV. Today, we are on the mountains. We are coming to you from the Mpriyasu constituency in the eastern region. My name is Premier Dunyame. Join me, let's explore Mpriyasu. The Mpriyasu constituency is in the Kwewu South District in the eastern region of Ghana. It sits on the Kwewu Mountain, the highest inhabited area in Ghana. When you are in the constituency, some of the unique experiences are how the sun can still take the temperature and the humid air. You may need a jacket on occasional evenings. The fresh air from the green rocky mountain is serene when descending from the Kwewu mountain. The architecture of popular towns gives the area a distinctive and spectacular view. The constituency, which has 120 communities, is home to over 85,000 people. The area is basically a rural constituency with the exception of towns like Obo, Bipon, Mpriyasu and Bisiasi. Asante Chi is the widely spoken language in the area. It also has other languages which include Akuapim Chi, Fanti, Ewe, Wali, Ga, among others. Who are the people of Mpriyasu? Um, at the palace of the custodians of the Mpriyasu land and um, I have some huge chiefs right here with me. I'm going to ask them who they are. Nana, Pachoyme Watanasi. No, your prime Nana a no Mwensi. May ye Sapohene, a warm price of Hene, a him fee. Now, Messiah, a distribution, a friend who do PSC, a sonano, may ye a bushing a penny. Nampachakas and prior so and prior so, a search saying. A dean prior son. A brown and uncle joke is in a dom. A bar harno. O cotra be ponquemu her baby. In sure be a hoya friend a pra. Baby a prano a shet nichi asino a hono cotton eye. Na nanano, now a pahonchi and a fee. I say a who be painty. A boane again a bagra and who are in a near to in chain. One pebbly be a bayer quincy dear. And he or chas you will see in a dying security crono, ni fieno, and I will giga in a dia. Ewoho. Nana, ni pake ne duya ya de. Duya ya Ha. Ah. 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 Enti wo gige enuya ni bi me ebe ye ne duya. Ena obo bo nkonwa. Ewo ase ye. Sa abre na ne kwante mpon so e firi. Eye eh obo obo me kwatia ni nyina be fa ha. Enti so bi be kote se be pon kafo asaka ene ya fure nya ho adwe obe fa ha. Ne ni pa no atwe kwan na wo mo bedu da na kwadu okisi atena aye ho a no akotena nkonwa na ase adi a ho me kakra na wo mo adidi ono nso wo hwe se ensa aso ti asukon so nti ensu aye kono nyi wo wo enhinam e wo wo ho na akwantemfu oyi anya bi anom na wo ma ma wo ma duane na de a no mpa ni fi and if you want Panky Cabo, a bit of San Crane, and eh, once an animal, and you want them prior, I say, say, need you any more. And you say, Who did you know? Sorry, I call, or better than a nano. Now, Cassa Coran, or be ye pray, you be no depra, and you who is Anna, who are over Babbage, no opera, and you will be a bed, you know, did you we are no ye and pray, you be no the opera. And you will be here, I was so mummy uncle near Drum Prayer Soa near Didi near Numun Sue near Home and near Quire Quintuoso. The constituency is well known for its tourist attraction like paragliding and the annual Easter festivities. The economy of the constituency is predominantly agrarian, with over 44% of the population employed by the sector. Crops such as maize, cassava, onion, cocoa Yam, granites, and cowpea are grown in the district. Fruits grown are mainly banana, citrus, and watermelon. Cash crops grown are coffee, cocoa, and oil palm. Livestock reared include poultry, pig, sheep, and goats, and cattle. The aquaculture development captures fisheries down along the Afram River 
The constituency has a total road network of 6,743 kilometers, of which about 90% are feeder roads that are in poor conditions, especially during the rainy seasons. This mostly affects the transportation of food crops to the market centers. These conditions, coupled with inadequacy of suitable storage and preservation facilities, are major impediments to increasing agricultural production, making food crops expensive. Some of the communities this is affecting Abipong and Betum. We are still here at the Empryoso constituency and I'm currently here at Bepong. It is one of the communities in the constituencies. Now, this is also the birthplace of one of Ghana's founding fathers, Dr. J.B. Dankwa. Now, where I am is the taxi rank. The road ahead of me will take you to the Afram Plains areas. Now, the one on my right, that's the road going down there, will take you to Ntomim. This is the constituency on City TV. <laughs> no <laughs> MP4 number back campaign in your money, man. Or how Ben, our person, what to say? Or Mukas on Bay and San Juan, what is a metro away and a metro? Yeah, dear Debbie, I won't buy no one that I obey a quiet mamma, you obey a quiet mamma. Yanso, so no, you would you dear say, won't buy, won't be boy, and answer so no, you're quite good to all dear, no quarry, won't dear, Hambo, pa, and dear Sloan. So won't buy no one boy and dear, you're quite who he ain't. If there's no buyer in your free, sir, Pomohan. So you're still watching the constituency. We are in Mpriyasu constituency. This community is Bepong, and I have the Jasehine with me. Nana Osei Bwache. Nana, you want to go? Yeah, Nana. Nana, what do you to say? Ah, Boko. Mm. Mm. Na. I don't know. I'm going to go to my house. 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 I'm going Ebesisa efie ya yegnamu yi. Na efie ya yegnamu sisi ya no. Eye ba bia ye wo JB Dankwa. Ne na na. Ne fie ni. Ne fie ni. Ne na na papa ye Katkis. Okay. O Presbyterian Church. Nti o betena, o betena ha. Ha no betena ya. O me eh ye de wo no wo. E wo sa efie wi mu. Ne na na JB Dankwa no be pon. Ye kan se ya se wo. Na na eh JB Dankwa no a. Eye efie wi mu. E na ye wo no. papa <laughs> Ya town roads a you know, town roads no. But be anywa or the car far a ye. So be crazy down ya. It do baby uh here not ten go baby and was what the idea and yeah, well how be bre rose with ye. Yeah dear ye ni bacon cra ye ni bacon ye ni bacon cra 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 cra. A pass from road to a tremu call a friend place no town roads with ye ye ni be wokumra. Ye quen y na say one more by seven who near more fast wa mobile ni a de far so free have a sin call uh and to me munina one who nina the idea ye ni be wa Nanso ye ka preparation ye wo eh kwa usafu ha be pon ye ni edoso ye ni edia ye dimo oh ya be more than 6 na but 10000 10000 ye be nya kwa usafu ha de obi enu a omo doso hye nso ya kwa ese se bi akuafo ani ade na gana ha nso aban fa na ni misal me ka no ese se ye ni ni pa se bi ye ni ye ni hwe e wo e wo e wo e wo ha ya se kwadu wa ha pa kwadu de the whole gana make me ka se ha e na kwadu a war, number one. Quadua Ujina Cantamanto, Agogosia, CMBA, Quadua free, a cast, a banging on a honey free, a bono in Sia, a numeral in Sia, Brassation Ho, the session, Gramacans and your station, and your station, Bralor Quango, never her cassia, a lodua, a co, a quacra, a equadu, Ninja free ah. And the Yamuadia, a yamwa, papa, 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 a yamwa. Six constituencies share boundaries with the Mpriyasu constituency. On the eastern boundary are the Fantiaqua North and Fantiaqua South constituencies. 
Nkoko and Etiwa constituencies share a boundary with Mpareso on the south. On the north is a Front Plains constituency. I'm still in the Mpareso constituency. Now, where I am currently is the central business district of Mpareso. And this is where um, Mpareso constituency shares a border with a Betifi constituency. And so the road um, that is on my left will take you to a Betifi constituency. And that on my right will be taking you to Obo and Oboming. You're still watching the constituency? on City TV. Only five out of the 120 communities that make up the Mpraisa constituency are urban. The rest are rural areas. The area placed 56 out of 216 MMDAs on the recent district league table. With access to portable water, it scored 195th out of 216. There are 91 preschools, 100 primary schools, 69 junior high schools and 5 senior high schools in the constituency. There are 3 hospitals, 23 chip compounds, 1 reproductive and child health and family planning center and 5 health centers. The facilities may be solving the specific needs of constituents but not all their needs. a war of my man as and prior to Krumuhano. And a hard drink a cra. And you bet me I can't, you bet me I can't say a hard drink, as you shall say. A Jumaniha, Titru, a Juman Casangasa, our mama, and can nip up a buck room, mama, taxi drivers, and Kayahua toying. Now you're to me a Jumama and Kunumdiabano, Yenya B. A Juma to say, Campina, Cassia, Cassia, or Sanka, Mamma will be a company's ma, and can nip up buck room. A man can if so, or for baby, I've been in the path for one. Unya Bisa. O shall I sit in a moo, a jumma moo, man, tumble, and what's in my name? A dear now, per se, candidates in a bar. What is a candidate with me, but may you one, two, three? Now I shall so. I have a watch and send a metro banana. We are now met one my way. A dear, my shall so, a two a bar, a dear man, the petit rubia. Obeba and prayers to constituency, and I say. Mary, I say, Obeka, 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 you massem. Said an Amidika can a can, Obama company, Akasia, Akasia, Abba constituency Nimu, Celebaya and Price Ukuni, you be a drum bama, as a taxi driver, Mansumena, who be a fano, Namanesica, Mesumidavita Bama Hobra, and a beer one so. Yen Yanke to anna, Mufia, a school, some Anne and Yamanema Ayabasano, or bet me out to us on a Seneca cra, Eduma out to us, or be a beer on person who goes to Nuko Drubia. Now, Abaya Yabatri, Kwame. A dear now, would you not so MP for dear no? A dear now, or more candidates never known by more campaign, and some banana person would say, and never banana person to some be back as a mayor way, new way, new way, and my prior so for and San Wash or Swatwaban. Reckoning I am punto, some bumble of mine and punto about Kumana, could any be in the same way as when you may be. Okay, so cousin punto, I didn't dear San Alpach. Oh, say, I can't be a Pazu Cree, be a or Tanrus, where can I say my master here, Umgusu or Moy. The woman is on bow, a milk and pretty, a man, a sandy man, a cost not good and any be. Quam Yadas, the Fundas. All right, so um, let's get some more people to talk to. This is the Priorso constituency, and I'm at the market area. Patrol, oh, not Tony Mewahana. The market is a Yadaguma. Now, until Julie sent a mere Duma, December, but to Abba, in the mere Duma, in T. and Priorso are we. Constituency, mu a DNA or how be a war has say, I hope I say, say candidates no MP for the end of Pan and hear me pull a candidate's neighbor a DN or how a war helpers or more come once and now who said, Okay, so it's obey your way, 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 and you met one man or then some son. If I show the ticket by a toilet at a toilet in here, if you are Hannah and say a cacacra. This dance is no a wa. Maybe of our wa, most houses no crown, which are any. Private Isa. Oh, it's a major a pan. Alan Pai, yeah, people's friend. Thank you. None of us December number of a twaba. Ah, my coffee me didn't cry. Oh, I'm five. 
The new patriotic party since the Fourth Republic has enjoyed some dominance. In the nineteen ninety six parliamentary election, the NPP's Francis Osafo Mensa won with about fifteen thousand, while the NDC's Mike Kwabna Seche Champong polled over eleven thousand. The 2000 parliamentary election saw the NPP's Francis Osafo Mensa retain the seat with 13,000 votes, whereas the NDC's Maikwabna Seche Champon garnered a little over 10,000 votes. The NPP's Francis Osafo Mensa in the 2004 parliamentary election again won the seat with 18,000 votes, while the NDC's Kwekuba, a new entrant, polled 8,000. The 2000 parliamentary elections saw new entrants for both parties. The NPP pressed Seth Kwame Champon, who subsequently won the election with over 36,000 votes. The NDC's Dr. Seth Kranting polled 7,500 votes. In the 2012 election, the NPP's Seth Kwame Champon polled 22,000 votes, while the NDC's Joseph Omari, a new entrant, garnered 8,700. Seth Kwame Champon of the NPP, who was contesting for the second time, garnered a little over 20,000 votes, whereas the NDC's Emmanuel Okori Boache, a new entrant, polled 8,500 votes. From all indications, it appears it will be very difficult for the opposition NDC to win the seat. The party is bent on winning it this time. We're still in the Paraiso constituency. I'm now at the NDC constituency office, and I have here with me the secretary of Sabons who at plans. Welcome to the constituency. Yeah, thank you. So how is NDC doing? Yeah, we are doing good. It's quite okay. Mm. Uh, but uh, you know, when you come to Paraiso, being the stronghold of the MPP, yeah, it's not a constituency that you hear the NDC being that vibrant, but. It seems we are uh, doing quite well. Oh, so, so have you thrown in the towel already? No, we haven't. Um, we have always given them a tough fight, and then uh, that is going to happen this year as well. Uh, the only problem that we had is in the delay of selecting our parliamentary candidates. We just had a candidate just 29th August 2020, so it's not long ago. It's not even up to one month. Okay, so how is campaigning going? We have started moving the campaign. We are here to launch our mega campaign, but we have already inaugurated the constituency campaign team. And then we have started moving, uh, inaugurating the branch. In NDC, we call it branch, not polling station. Yeah, we have started uh, inaugurating the branch campaign team. So that's what we are on now. And then we have had our campaign volunteers that we have also inaugurated that have started moving house to house and those stuff yeah since it is um like you put it like a stronghold of the npp what is your campaign message to the people what are you telling them moving from house to house yeah we are telling them something very simple we have voted for the npp since 1992 but have not seen anything in fact all major and something that i do call it monumental projects it's being done by the ndc not the npp yeah, you see the road that you used when you were coming, the Nkoko ATV road. The first time the people of Kuala seen asphalt is the Nkoko ATV road. It was done by the NDC. If you look at the big Impraiso market, it was done by the NDC. Mahama? Yeah, no, that was, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, under Rollins. Okay. But what I just want to say is we have voted for the MPP since 1992, but we have not seen anything. 
Will the NPP retain the seat for the seventh time? I'm still at the Mparaiso constituency in the eastern region and I'm currently here at the NPP constituency office. I have with me the director of elections, that is Benjamin Boateng. You're welcome to the constituency. Thank you very much. And how, how are things going? Oh, basically, uh, now we, you know, because of the COVID-19, mm. party activities slow down somehow, mm. but gradually we are, we are picking up mm. and we are getting momentum. And as we are getting towards the uh, 7 December, I think uh, everything will be okay. Mm. In terms of campaign, how are things going? Oh, we are on course. We are on course. We are doing well. Now, you know, we have changed our campaign strategy somehow. Mm -hmm. Now we are basically doing what we call the house to house and then, some few contact meeting here and there, and we are, of course, we are doing it. Unlike previously, that you see that kind of massive outdooring of campaigning. Now, because of the COVID, we have decided to restructure our campaign strategy, and it's going smoothly mm. so far. So far, so good. Well, but people are quite worried. I've been to the market, I've spoken to some of the taxi drivers, and I mean, the constituents in general, and people have issues. What are you doing? I mean, your MPP is a certain... Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. MP, right? Yeah, yes, so what have you been doing? Why are your people worried? They are complaining. Um, I, I, I don't know if you can give me a, a gist of what So they've spoken about the roads. They've spoken about um, unemployment. They've spoken about, in fact, toilet facilities. Uh, currently, Empire Town Rules is under construction. If you pass somebody, if you see contractors all over doing uh, construction of a road. So, so, so you've mentioned the roads, but give me specifics. Give me five things that you have done, I mean, in this four years, almost four years. I mean... If you come to Brighton, so far, since we come, we have done almost about 80 to 90 different projects across the constituency. You only five? Yeah. As I, as I told you, currently, and mm -hmm. um, Town Road is, is going uh, uh, face lift. Uh, we want to go to, there's a, a place called Fodua Junction to Corporal, so number one, Corporal, so number two, to last time, our, most of our towns down at the down, around the Kokoe area. The roads is under construction, and when you go to Asakaka, Asakaka Town Road is also under construction. And apart from roads, what and else are you doing? We, we have done a lot of water water facilities now, water system. You have one water system powered by solar. It's at the Akosi for just a price here. The plights of residents in the constituency are the best evidence of the achievements these political parties are touting. That's why I'm from Sister Agua. Agnes. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So if I saw your MP, if I saw your CPP, ni saw your PPP, ni saw your day, or banu be kase yen or be ne campaign na. And some banu pesa wote saw kase me ba me ye weni 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 wa shasu atu aba. Oh, eno di e. Se ne obi a pe enkoso, obi a pe ni ye di. Enti saw ba na saw be bua yen, ma enu ma ye yeno etu mi a koso a yeni problem. And mo be sa na o shu saw mo de ma wa wedi ma be koso. Oh, se. Eduma, Eduma, so I want to near Duma ya. Once I brought one in Koye, by our banner boy and I say Eduma, a ba cronuma. Eh, you've been a nigger, a woman near the Atanasi, so I'm a medium. So we are still here in the market. This is Empire. So let me go talk to this, my new friend. Madam, good morning, let us say. Good morning, Adam. Now, Frost, eh? What's your name? Zelia. Zelia Day. I will do. Okay. Eh, eh, market a wuwe ne mpraya so a wuwe. Or how be pan e wuwe we ria ha se ya ufo se e wo se mpenyin fo shwe no mo ye. Or how ne de do su be bre. Ya market a ye te a special in so to a ye hua mane. In so to a ye intime na afe in so so sa na oma ye e like oma ye flow no. In ko ye e mrewe e te shwe ni mpenyin fo e te shwe. Ya kan ye mpenyin fo ni mwa ye. In ti dizembe ni ambwa ye betu waba sa o ya we. Yeah, we're Give me another five things that you will do. 
for now, the, the incoming uh, MP, inshallah, if God permit, by serving generally the good people of um, Price will give it a nod. One thing that he has put up as a major agenda that he's going forward is what he call as an apprenticeship for most of the youth, because most of the youth uh, I mean, may not have all the, the needed education background to take this color, uh, white color job. But the MP is putting up a, a mechanism or strategy in place that we are going to set up a, a, a strong um, entrepreneurship program, that's apprenticeship, what are those, you know, weathering and all the uh, dressmaking uh, and then uh, hairdressing, all of you. All the sense. Well, that's one of the major because we think that the people, the young guys in coach, should not be left up in our forward march. And that's what MP is determined to do that. You bring all these young people who have not been fortunate enough to go to the school at the highest level so that they can also get something to do. All right. I mean, if you head town, if you talk to the people, what do you think the chances of your candidates are? Absolutely. I mean, there's no way it's going to win. It's going, it's going to be massive. I mean, it's going to be massive. And we, we are even taking off going for what we have set as our agenda, 35 votes for the parliamentary candidate and it's a silence in another than Kwaku for at least Shala we shall, we shall deliver it. You've mentioned two things so far that you'll be doing. Yeah. The Afran Plains Road and the Amate um, Irrigation. Down. Give me three more things that should... Adam Kalim, get the nod, sure. you will do in the prior Yeah, this is one thing that we will do. One, we will make sure we get a technical school in a district, a technical vocational school. We don't have a technical vocational school in a district. So that's why we have planned that we will do. And then I've made mention of Bepon Town Rules, that we will make sure Bepon people, because Bepon is one of the communities that has the most population in the district. In fact, it seems they are even more than Empire. So, uh -huh. so we are going to do the Bepon town rules for them. And then when you go to Intomim area, one, they don't have rules. Two, they don't have electricity. The whole enclave do not have electricity. So what we are going to do is to facilitate all processes that needs to be done. Because NDC started something under China Hunan project that was giving rural electrification. But since these people came, they have halted the whole process and it's not going on. This is what we are going to do. Do the Bepon Town Rules and then do the Intomim Road and the electricity over there. And then we make sure we have established a technical school in our district here. So this is Obo, another community in the Empireso constituency. Now Obo is uniquely known for its beautiful architecture and nice weather. This is how we wrap up on the constituency today, coming to you from Empireso constituency. My name is Premier Dunyame. See you next time.